Hey guys, it's Dayla Doll here with a cell shaded cosplay makeup tutorial featuring my personal rendition of the comic book character Tank Girl. Cell shading is basically the use of lines and shadow to create a flat 2D cartoon effect on a 3D object. You can use this tutorial for any character you like, so with that in mind, let's get started. For step one, I add a matte primer to make sure my skin doesn't get oily and basically ruin my makeup. And then I spread it all over my face like icing with a large circle brush to get even distribution, make sure everything's covered and that there are no streaks or anything like that. Next, I'm going to apply my foundation and same thing, I'm using a large circle brush to ensure that there's even coverage. And once that is all smoothed over, it's time to apply eyeshadow. I'm using the Norvina Volume 2 palette, but you can use any eyeshadow palette you want and I'm going to use different shades of matte blue on my eyes. I'm putting a, I guess, medium toned matte blue on my eyelid going up into the crease. And it doesn't have to be super smooth or neat because, I mean, obviously you want like full good coverage, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for like a very specific kind of rough, sketchy cartoon look. Then between my crease and my uh, eyebrow, I'm going to add a different shade of matte blue. I'm not using shimmers for this type of look because I want it to look very cartoony. So using anything shimmery or metallic would kind of ruin that effect. So I suggest just sticking to matte eyeshadows and the matte finish makeup, which basically means there's no shine, that everything's very smooth and like easy to work with, especially when we apply our cell shading details. Then I'm gonna use a matte brown eyeshadow on my lower lash line to create some dark circles. Anytime you wanna add dark circles, I suggest using a matte brown no matter your skin tone because it looks much more realistic than using like just a straight up black pigment. And then once I'm pleased with my dark circles that make me look like I haven't slept in a month, I'm going to check out my makeup touch it up a little and then I'm going to apply my blush I'm using a matte red blush and I'm applying that to my cheeks up to my temple because I just really really like blush and I want to put it everywhere I'm also going to apply some to the tip of my nose and my chin because I just felt like blush would look good there I don't really have a reason for it it's just my preference you can put your blush wherever you want to and I'm using a fluffy brush, just a basic blush brush to apply that. After that, I'm going to take that matte brown shade that I used under my eyes. And I'm going to create like some harsh lines along my cheeks, like a harsh contour line, just because I thought, you know, it would look cool. And then to soften it up slightly, I'm going to go over it with my um, blush brush just to kind of blend it a little bit. Next up, I'm using a matte red lipstick. Whatever color lipstick you use, you want to make sure again that it's going to dry down completely. You don't want to use a gloss because you won't be able to add those cell shaded details um, later because it'll be impossible to go over it. So make sure that you use something that will dry matte. In my case, I'm using a um, liquid lipstick. Once that's done, I'm going to highlight using a shiny white highlight. And I'm putting that on the high points of my face, so basically the tip of my nose, my forehead. i uh, blend it out a little with my brush. Then I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones as well. Um, you can apply it wherever you want. This is just typically where I apply my highlight. Normally I don't put it on my forehead, but for the look I'm going for, it works. And then I'm putting a little bit along the brow bone and just blending it a little with my brush and checking out my work. And now is for the fun part. I am using the NYX That's the Point Eyeliner in the style Super Sketchy. It's like a very like um, pointy tipped uh, felt tip eyeliner. It's super waterproof, which means it's sweat proof and it's perfect for drawing on details. And I'm basically just applying lines haphazardly. Like I'm looking at reference pictures Obviously you want to outline like your lips and like your major features like your nose and your eyes and I'm just adding lines wherever I see fit. Like I said, I'm using reference photos and you can kind of see me in the video glancing over at my reference photos. 
but I'm not copying them directly. They're more as like a guideline or inspiration, and then I'm just kind of doing my own thing as well. Yeah, not much to say in the way of this step. It's really fun because you can play around with it, and um, if you mess up, no one's gonna know because it just looks really cool once you're done. Like, I look crazy right now, but the end result is pretty neat. I'm just like darkening up my nostrils. Anywhere where shadow would fall or where you already have lines or contour in your face, I suggest adding lines there. At some point, I'm gonna apply a lighter blue eyeshadow to my lid to create more contrast. There it is, because I wanted more contrast between my upper and lower eyelids, so that's why I added a different shade of blue that popped a bit more. And then I just went over it again with the eyeliner. So I suggest using shades that are very, very different on your eyes to create more of a contrast because it just looks better. And um, all of the specific shades I used from the palette will be in the description box, so if you're curious about that, don't worry, because I got you covered. Outline my dark circles. Add some lines to my cheekbones. Basically, I'm just wherever I want lines to be, just adding them. You do whatever you want. Look at reference photos, get a feel for what you want to do. I didn't do my whole body, just any parts that I thought would be photographed once I was done and wanted to take my pictures. And then because Tank Girl is like a rough and tumble character, I started adding kind of like bumps and bruises using um, a matte red eyeshadow and just kind of dabbing it in the places where I wanted my bruises with my finger and then going and adding little contour lines to those bruises with my same eyeliner pen and touching up parts that I wanted to touch up. And now I'm checking out the look, and next up I'm doing my eyeliner. I do eyeliner for almost every look because it makes your eyes pop and it looks good. And once you master eyeliner, you wanna do it all the time and show off. So first I'm going over it in my NYX eyeliner, and then I have magnetic lashes that I use, which means I use magnetic eyeliner as well, and it's very, very cool. It makes putting on your lashes super easy. You have to apply like two to three coats of it for the lashes to stick. So I applied one coat um, along where I wanted to apply the lashes. Then you have to wait for it to dry. I'm trying to speed up the drying process here while I check out my makeup. Apply your second coat. And while that's drying, I'm putting mascara on my eyelashes. That way they are lifted a bit and they'll blend in better with the magnetic lashes. And then my eyeliner should be dry by the time I'm done putting on my mascara. Check out your makeup. Now that that's done, I'm taking some tweezers and applying magnetic lashes. It's super easy. You basically just stick them on there and you can adjust them with your fingers. And then once they're in place, they are in place which makes putting on lashes so much easier because I normally hate applying falsies, but this is such a game changer. You can see I'm just adjusting with my fingers, seeing how it looks. Boom, long dolly lashes. And now that I'm done with the rest of my face, it's time to work on my eyebrows. And for that, I'm taking my same black mascara that I put on my eyelashes, darkening and shaping my brows with it. Then once I'm happy with the shape of them, um, and the style, I'm going to go over that with my same eyeliner pen, which works really well. Like I pretty much put it on my entire upper body and it looks so good. So yeah, I'm just tracing the outlines of my eyebrows using that same pen to make some cool, blocky, cartoony eyebrows. And then I'm not going for super smooth lines because I want it to look kind of rough and sketchy. So you kind of have to go in lightly to get that look. I'm adding some nice, a nice arch. Those are some strong brows. I did a good job, dang. So now basically, always when I finish a look, I just do an inspection to make sure that I like it. The highlight's looking good, the bruises look good. Lashes are in place. And overall, I'm pleased with the look, so I'm going to style my hair and apply accessories off camera, and I'll return with the final look. 
and boom, we are done. This is my final cell shaded tank girl look. Um, the top I'm wearing is just a $2 tank top that I cut up and decorated with acrylic paint and Sharpie. My contacts are the style Sweetie Anime Blue from the site um, uniqueso.com. I have a discount code with them, so check the comments for 10% off if you're into that. I'm also wearing earrings from my personal jewelry collection that I thought fit the character. Um, and that's it. All of the makeup products used are listed in the description. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you're into it. Um, bye!